What's up guys? I want to talk real quick about the uh, Ben Askren, Jake Paul fight, give a prediction. Um, I've been into this thing, you know, I, I have a, uh, a long, long standing relationship with Ben Askren. I've known him for a lot of years. I remember the first time he was at a UFC event, I think it was in Milwaukee, and uh, walking up to him and being a fan of his wrestling and whatnot, and followed his career. And on the Paul side, I've actually met Logan Paul on the streets in Hollywood. Uh, we actually had apartments in the same place, Hollywood and Vine over there for a little bit. And uh, most recently, about two years ago, was on his Impulsive podcast and got to know him a bit. Never met Jake Paul. I feel like Logan and Jake are probably pretty different people, but this this matchup has been intriguing, and I think it's a genius call, really, for what sounds like Jake Paul wanted to make a career in the boxing world. And to put that in perspective, uh, a lot of people are just saying, hey, well, he's a YouTuber. I think absolutely that's what he's done. But before that, he was a high school wrestler, an all-around, sounds like tough kid, good athlete, and somebody that believes he can do anything. So when you take a guy that believes he can do anything um, and really sets his mind to, to, to something, that becomes a, a dangerous person. And apparently he's been really focused on boxing for three years. And on the other side, we've got Ben Askren. Ben Askren is pretty much one of the most decorated martial artists, mixed martial artists, combat athletes in the world alongside guys like DC and uh, Henry Cejudo, guys that have been on the Olympic level for a sport, wrestling in this, in this case, and then gone on to become champions in other sports, mixed martial arts, uh, being, being the case here with Ben and 1FC and Bellator, two great promotions. Uh, it, it, it makes you really, really wonder, and, and it made me want to do some deep diving on like the details of this thing. So I've been watching the buildup. It's only been about 12 weeks, 11 weeks of Ben getting back on his boxing training uh, regimen or his MMA hiatus into just boxing training. Had a replaced hip in that time. He had a, um, you know, a 12 to 14 month layoff. Comes off the couch and decides he's going to box somebody who probably in retrospect he realized loves the sport of boxing much more than he does I think Ben has always been the guy that has been the anti stand up guy I'm going to show you what I can do without really committing to becoming a great striker I want to show you what wrestling and a tough mentality can do and that's how he won his championships I mean he, he was a guy that would take some punishment to get his hands on, on, on an opponent grind him out use Olympic level wrestling and high level coaching in the MMA space to, to get big W's and was undefeated for about 10 years. So um, two very, very different worlds. I want to, on a personal note, talk about my own little journey as a mixed martial artist. I started out as a wrestler, took it past high school, uh, was a college wrestler and started my MMA career 23, almost 24, ironically the same age that Jake Paul is right now. So uh, we're talking about a kid that has a wrestling pedigree. And, and like I said, I've been doing a little digging on this thing. And um, it, uh, it's, it's been interesting. Like I said, when, when I went on the Impulsive podcast with Logan, I got to talk with him a little bit before, a little bit after. And here's some of the story of how they brought up their dad super hard-nosed dude he used to make them do push-ups when they were kids when they they said things like i can't that was like a, a standing rule and logan was saying he was he's done thousands of, of push-ups just on that if you said i can't drop and give me 20 so these guys have been bred by a guy that seems like an intense dude kind of a little bit out there that was all about his boys and instilled some great work ethic and a believe you can achieve anything mentality. Now, 
Has it paid dividends for them? Absolutely. Has it been, uh, you know, a time with some controversies? Absolutely. But if you had to say, are these guys winning or are they losing in life? I would probably say for most people's standards, they're, they're winning, they're doing well. They have their family that they're close with. They have friends, whether flighting friends or, or people that are, are, are with them from, you know, way back in the day. They have material goods, they have cash, they have females, they have most of the things that people would dream of. So I would say from a general standpoint, uh, the, the success is absolutely stacked on their side. And I think that's a testament to what probably they learned growing up from their dad and from um, their mom and, and life circumstances. On the other side of things, a less controversial guy, just as good at getting under people's skin at, at times, um, but more by design, I would say, is Ben Askren. Ben Askren is the essential, like, perfect example of somebody that doesn't look the part of something, doesn't care what anybody thinks, uh, has super self-belief and has accomplished some massive, massive things. When you, when you think about being an Olympic representative in, in a sport, and especially a sport like wrestling, that's incredible. Going to the sport of MMA and kind of giving a big F you to the, to the stand-up portion of it and saying, mentality-wise, I'm still gonna take people out and I'm gonna be the best in the world winning belts in multiple organizations and coming to the UFC, the biggest organization, and, you know, throwing your hat in the pile of competitors. You know, it's 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 very, very impressive. And I would say undoubtedly also has that I can do anything belief in a self-confidence and a work ethic that is hard to match anywhere in the world. So here comes the dilemma. And this this becomes the question of, of you know, what things are you stacking your your predictions on? And, and if you look at the, the training tape, especially, you know, the most recent training tape, and I'm talking about a couple of days ago, uh, Jake Paul, for all intents and purposes, is the more savvy boxer, the one that likes boxing more, the one that has a bit of a size advantage and youth on his side. Um, I think he is actually taking boxing seriously. If he stays on this path, he could have a good career. Like I said, I, I was 23, almost 24 when I started my fight career, and I have had 46 fights, been a world champion, been a top contender, fallen in, you know, in and out of the, the title contention for the majority of my career and that's from 24 to 40 plus at this point and um, so if he really does want to take this career and, and take his natural talents and the, and the work ethic he's learned from his dad and the anger he's got from really being the, the heel of the world at this point uh, and harness it into something that is is a career that no one can take away from you. You either win a fight or you don't. I think we've got a, a real potential fighter here. Now, have we seen him really push? Have we really seen him tried when it comes to adversity? Absolutely not. You could say in his own life, but you know, doing a little bit of research, you, you find that he comes from a, uh, not a background of privilege necessarily, but definitely had, you know, a middle class family with supportive, maybe unorthodox parents at times, uh, and has competed in wrestling. He didn't become the best in the world at wrestling, and he was obviously passionate about it at some point in his life. Um, what were the things that made him not be the best wrestler in Ohio or the best wrestler in the nation or go on to compete in the Olympics? I don't know. Uh, what are the things that made Ben Askren take the sport of wrestling and decide he wanted to go on and become a national champion and then be an Olympic champion and then become a world champion? Um, I don't know that either. I don't know the history. But the truth is, you've got two guys that believe anything is possible. And I really truly believe that 
neither of them thinks that they're going to lose this fight. You've got one that's been really, really tried and tried and, and tested in a couple different sports and risen to the top. That's that's Ben Askren, and that that is a uh, is something that's hard to bet against. Uh, I watched a video of um, Ben Ask or uh, Jake Paul with the Vander Holyfield, and they showed all these different techniques. And then at the end of the interview, Holyfield said, "Look, here's the truth." You can have all this technique, and he's telling this to Jake, and I, I don't know if it was disheartening or not, but it's kind of what Achael Sonnen is being predicted and some of the other uh, people that really know, and Dominic Cruz is kind of predicted, um, that really understand about the fighting grit, the fighting mentality. Evander was basically saying, hey, you can have all this technique, but what is going to happen is people are going to get tired in there, and it's going to be a mental game, and the mentally stronger guy is going to win. So, when I when I look at that advice, and then I look at the very first videos I saw of Ben Askren sparring and training after his hip surgery and 14, 15 months off, uh, I was nervous, to be honest. I'm like, man, Ben Askren is way out of shape, way out of his element, and going to be playing catch-up in the, in, the, in the striking game. I don't know if 12 weeks is enough time to get it done um, but then you look on the other side and uh, and you realize like this kid Jake Paul he really has convinced himself that this is what he wants to do at least right now in his life he's also knocking out guys I don't know how good they are in sparring but it is hard to knock out human beings in general uh, just depending on genetics you know how much they know and don't know etc it's hard to go in no matter how prepared someone is or isn't and these people look somewhat prepared and actually knock people out hit them with your fist and put them unconscious or put them on on on, on skates or whatever they say so at the end of the day uh jake paul has some technique and some power that is unique especially for guys who only be doing it three years if you look back at his the beginning of his his boxing he was pretty bad i think the most Improved we've seen is the last probably year and a half um, where he's taking it serious and looking good. So it comes really hard to predict. The last piece of evidence I think that I needed to look at was this this uh, latest mid session that Ben Ashton had at the open press conference. It's obvious. I think it was about 10, 11, 11. Uh, 10, 11, 12 minutes long. He's boxing. Looks faster than we've ever seen him. Not saying that's fast, but he looked really, you know, up to speed as far as being able to get into a fist fight with somebody that is younger and faster than him. He looked technically much better. It's been 11 weeks. He's a fast learner, etc. On his own, uh, on a, his own accord. And um, this guy is ready for a dog fight. He's ready to get his face bashed in. And he says, yeah, that might happen a little bit, but I'm going to break this guy mentally. I'm going to break him physically. Um, that my, that in, its, in itself was like, okay, we've got one of the best combat athletes of all time who's now looking up to par, just good enough to be able to stay safe and maybe grind this guy out. And so that was leaning, I was leaning back and forth. Where I, you know what? Ben's got him no matter what. Then I watched this tidbit that somebody sent me on Jake Paul's dad and uh, some things that he was saying about things that he put the kids through and, and, and making them do push-ups when they said things like they can't. Then you look at the things that they've done, and I will say Logan Paul seems like a really smart guy. Jake Paul seems like he's got some gifts, not as intelligent as his brother, in my opinion. You know, just doesn't come off like that. Maybe he is, maybe he isn't. Maybe he's quiet, maybe he's... Uh, you know, under underplaying, not not very talkative, whatever it may be. But uh, you know, the question becomes: Can he really dig deep? And if he doesn't knock Ben out in the first two rounds, I feel like he's 100% going to have to really dig deep. I, th I feel like Ben is competitor enough to be able to push, uh, grind, take a punch, give a punch, and really take somebody that has been, uh, you know 
in some tough situations, but never in a really, really tough situation into deep water and drowned him. So I've been going back and forth saying, oh man, look at the backgrounds because I always look at people's interviews more than their actual fights when I try to break down, you know, a, a line of attack or how things are going to go. Uh, I would say that I was teetering back and forth. Like Jake loves the fight, really loves the box. Ben does not love to box but he loves to fight uh, both guys work really really hard both guys believe they're going to win um, Jake's a little bit bigger Ben's a little bit older hip surgery you don't have hip surgery and be at your best in, in, in my opinion so it's, it was hard to pick but at the end of the day I'm going to have to go with mind over matter the, the grind, I think, is going to be something that uh, is going to be embraced here on both sides. But who's better at it? You got to go with Ben Askren. Now, on top of that, I feel like the way Logan or Jake has been carrying himself uh, and the way he's been touted in the world, the real world of of, of uh, you know social media and and his time as a somebody in the public eye from a kid all the way to a young adult has been basically been called a bully. And I think he wants to get away from that. But at the end of the day, the bully tactics come out. And Ben Ashton is a mentoring guy. He's a guy that's mentoring the next generation of kids. He's he's a guy that uh, really takes to heart setting a good example for the wrestling world, not necessarily the MMA world, but the kids that he's mentoring. That's his business now is, is being an example. Uh, and so I think... The anti-bully mentality that Ben has the weight of on his shoulders is going to be the difference. And I really saw it come together in his 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 training, the last part of his training. Um, I think that small piece of incentive to beat the bully down. Not saying that Jake is that's who he is, but that's that's the take, and some of his actions lean towards that. Uh, is going to be the edge and put my decision to pick Ben Askren on the top of the heap. So looking forward to the fight. It's going to be amazing just because it's interesting. Uh, both guys have done a great job of selling the fight. I think, you know, Jake really wants to be a fighter, and I'll give him a bit of advice on that, on that front. It's a long, long journey, dude. It's a long journey, so uh, be prepared for that. Ben Askren, I think, uh, you know, at the tail end of his career, is having the time of his life and realizing a bunch of great things because of uh, an opportunity that is a little bit risky, but at the end of the day, just icing on the cake for him. So both guys uh, enjoy the show and everyone else enjoy the fight.